Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to implement a search view with a recycler view in uh, order to search and uh, filter the data from your uh, recycler view. So uh, lots of you have asked for this tutorial and now I have decided to make that uh, wish come true. Uh, before we start I want to explain you the actual logic which hides behind that uh, search functionality. So uh, most of the time uh, when you want to search data from a search view and display the results immediately immediately in a recycler view, you would need to have a data source. In uh, most cases, uh, there are two main uh, data sources remote and a local data source. Remote data source is the actual server on uh, which we can send custom queries and requests for a specific set of data. Uh, that way we would just uh, get the text from our search view and uh, place it in our get request. After that uh, listen for a response and uh, display the result in a recycler view. And uh, in my uh, food recipes course I have shown you how to do that. Now uh, the second case is the actual local data source and uh, it represents a local database in our app. So uh, that's exactly what uh, we're going to use in this tutorial. Uh, we will use a room database to store data and uh, display that in a recycler view. And uh, after that uh, implement a search view to our action bar. And uh, whenever we type uh, even a single character in that uh, search view, our recycler view will be updated immediately. Because uh, behind the scenes uh, we will write a custom SQL query to search our room database with that uh, specified search query from our search view. Okay, so uh, that was a brief introduction to what we're going to do in this tutorial and uh, now I'm going to introduce you with the actual project uh, which I already made here. So I already made this uh, project so I don't have to uh, waste your time explaining you everything about the room database because uh, I already made a tutorial series about that and uh, if you're not familiar with the room database uh, then I highly suggest you to go and watch that tutorial series before you continue watching this video. Also uh, this uh, project will be available on my github profile so you don't have to worry about that. Okay so back in our Android studio so here I have made just a simple project and here we only have uh, one activity and and that activity contains a simple uh, recycler view. So uh, we only have uh, one main activity and uh, this is how it looks like for now. So basically uh, when we run our application uh, we're going to see a simple uh, screen which contains a recycler view and here uh, we are basically displaying uh, all the data from our uh, room database and uh, each uh, row inside our recycler view contains one number which uh, represents uh, the actual age and then we have first and last name so uh, now let me show you that uh, layout so it looks uh, basic and uh, simple. So we have uh, basically three uh, text views here. Uh, then inside our data package, uh, we have all the necessary classes and uh, interfaces for our room database. And first I'm going to start uh, by introducing you with this uh, entity class. So this is our entity uh, named a person. And this uh, data class contains uh, three fields. First, last name and age. So two strings and one integer. And of course uh, one ID of uh, type of primary key. And the name of our entity is a person table. Then uh, we have our uh, person database. And here we have specified our entity, our version and uh, export schema. And inside our person database we are basically extending this uh, room database class. And we have one uh, abstract uh, function named uh, person DAO. And this represents our uh, DAO object or data access object. Uh, here I have also used the dependence injection library uh, dagger hilt to actually provide our uh, database and uh, DAO. But I'm not going to explain you uh, furthermore about dependence injection. I might do that in a, some separate uh, video tutorial. Uh, next we have our person DAO. So here we have uh, three different queries. The first one is for basically reading our uh, database. The second one is for inserting uh, person object to our database and the third one and the most important one is uh, our uh, SQL query for uh, searching our database. So here I have wrote a custom SQL query that basically will search uh, from our person table or our entity where our first name or a last name contains uh, some characters from our search query and that search query will be passed uh, through the parameters of this uh, function and uh, this function will return a flow of a list of a person. Uh, next we also have a repository and in this repository we have basically injected our person DAO or our DAO interface and we also have those uh, three functions and uh, then we have our main view model so we're going to use this uh, view model to actually receive and observe uh, data from our database and of course this is my uh, gradle build file so down below we have enabled uh, 
uh, view binding and down below we have some uh, dependencies for navigation components for a room library for a dagger hilt and some uh, life cycle dependencies as well and uh, here on the top we also have this uh, dagger hilt plugin and uh, kotlin kept and here inside our other gradle build file i have this uh, dagger hilt uh, gradle plugin so as i already mentioned i'm not going to explain uh, more about uh, dependency injection in this video i'm going to do that in some separate video so for now as you can see this is how our application uh, looks like so we have a simple recycler view here and now uh, we want to create here a search view uh, widget or a search view icon so uh, to do that uh, first uh, we need to create uh, a new uh, menu for our main activity so for that i'm going to open up this uh, resource manager and i'm going to open this menu then here i'm going to add a new menu resource file and i'm going to name this uh, main uh, menu okay click okay and uh, here i'm going to create uh, only one uh, menu item so the id of this menu item can be for example menu uh, search then here for the title i can specify here uh, search then uh, then uh, for the icon i'm going to choose this uh, search icon then i'm going to specify here uh, icon tint to uh, white then here I can specify a show as action to uh, if room. And uh, one more important uh, attribute here is uh, action uh, view class. And here we need to specify uh, Android X dot uh, app compet dot uh, widget dot uh, search view. So this one. Okay. And here let me just press uh, Alt plus enter so I can uh, add this uh, suppress uh, tools target API attribute as well. So we can remove this warning. Okay. So now that we have created our uh, search uh, widget here, now we can go to our uh, main activity and we can actually start uh, implementing the logic. So as you can see here inside our main activity, I have uh, created the view binding to actually bind uh, our views. Then uh, I have initialized here our uh, main view model and also our recycler view adapter. And uh, down below I'm basically uh, using uh, linear layout manager for our recycler view. And also I'm setting uh, our recycler view adapter to this uh, custom uh, recycler view adapter class which I have already made. And uh, down below I'm also observing this uh, read data uh, variable from our main view model. And with this variable I'm getting uh, all the data from our room database. And I'm using this uh, custom recycler view adapter to set the data to that uh, recycler view, to our recycler view. So uh, next, uh, what we need to do, uh, we need to override uh, one method named uh, onCreate options menu. So we can add our menu here. Okay, so let's press uh, Control plus O and let's search for onCreate uh, options menu. And here I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add uh, menu uh, inflator and I'm going to inflate our uh, new menu which we have created so main menu and as a second parameter we need to pass this uh, menu object uh, next down below I need to create a search uh, variable and here I'm going to call a uh, menu dot uh, find item and here I need to pass r dot id dot uh, menu search and that's our uh, menu item which we have made uh, earlier uh, next down below i need to create uh, one more variable named uh, search view and here i want to basically convert this uh, menu item as a search view widget so i'm going to call this uh, search uh, menu item from above then i'm going to call this uh, action view and i'm going to cast that as a search view okay so let me just add here a question mark because this search can be nullable uh, next i want to call this uh, search view object and uh, i want to call this uh, is a submit button enabled and i want to set it to true so this will enable a showing a submit button when the query is a uh, non-empty and uh, down below i'm going to call again this uh, search view object and i'm going to call a set uh, on query text uh, listener and here i'm going to pass uh, this so now uh, what we need to do uh, we need to implement this uh, on query text listener on our main activity so here i'm going to write a comma then a search view so uh, you have two search views here android.widget and android x app compat widget so you need to choose this uh, android x version otherwise this uh, will not work so select this one then uh, on query text listener and now this warning from here uh, will disappear and here now we have a new warning from our main activity so press alt plus enter and let's uh, import those two functions so now we have uh, two functions on query text submit and uh, on query text change so uh, this uh, on query text change function so this function will be triggered uh, every time we write even a single character inside our search view widget and this uh, on query text submit uh, will be triggered only when we press a search button on our uh, search widget and uh, below those two functions i'm going to create a new function for basically 
uh, searching our uh, database so i'm going to write here a uh, private fun uh, search database and here we're going to have a uh, one parameter of a type string so query string so here I'm going to create a new variable named the search query and here I'm going to uh, put this uh, query in the middle of uh, two symbols. So we're going to use uh, two percentage uh, symbols to place this uh, query inside. So dollar sign then query. Okay. So the reason uh, why we are adding those uh, two percentage uh, symbols uh, outside uh, or around our uh, query string is because that uh, our custom SQL query will require that and that's how we need to format our our, uh, query in order this uh, search function to work and down below I'm going to call a main view model dot uh, search uh, database and here we need to pass our new search query and also we want to observe that uh, value and here I just want to uh, call our uh, uh, set data function from our recycler view to actually set the new data to our recycler view so here I'm going to write uh, a list and uh, down below I'm going to write a list dot uh, let so this is a scope function and I'm going to call uh, my adapter dot uh, set data and here I want to pass this uh, person object from this uh, observer. So basically this uh, search database uh, function uh, will send a custom SQL query to our database uh, where we're going to search our uh, data using this uh, specified uh, search query which we're going to pass from those uh, two functions above. So now I'm going to modify those two functions uh, but before that let me just uh, return here uh, true because we have uh, a warning. Okay so let's now uh, remove that and here I want to say if uh, query is not null because this query can be nullable. So if query is not null then I can call this search database and I can pass this uh, search query and of course I can return uh, true down below and I can copy this uh, same code inside uh, our second function here and I can change this uh, parameter to query now okay so now uh, let's run our app and now as you can see we have our uh, search view uh, widget right here on our action bar and when I press that uh, you will see that we are going to get this field uh, where we can write our uh, custom query or the actual data which we want to search in our database so for example uh, when I start typing as you can see I immediately get the results back and that is because uh, we have implemented those uh, two functions uh, on query text submit and uh, on query text change so uh, in this case uh, this on query text change uh, was uh, triggered because whenever we uh, write even a single character inside this uh, search view uh, this function will be triggered and this function will call this uh, search database and this search database function will basically uh, query our uh, custom uh, search uh, query to our room database and as you can see that's uh, how it will work so here we can type for example David we can remove that we can type for example Chris okay so as you can see it works uh, perfectly fine and this uh, on query uh, text submit function uh, will be triggered uh, whenever we uh, press this uh, search button but since our on query text change here uh, have priority uh, we can just remove this and we can just return here a simple uh, true and uh, that's how you are able to search uh, recycler view with this uh, search view widget so as you can see it is uh, very easy and we just basically need to add a custom query here to our uh, DAO uh, interface and here as you can see we are searching both uh, those uh, first and uh, last names with our search query parameter which we have specified in this function and of course uh, if you want to learn more about uh, SQL queries then uh, I highly suggest you to visit uh, W3 school uh, website uh, that's a very good uh, website where you can find a uh, lots of good uh, examples and tutorials about uh, SQL. Okay, so that will be all for this video. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful, of course, and uh, see you in the next one.